Back here on the Anglers Extra Pregame Show, it's time for the Manager Show. With John Schiffner, I'm Dominic Catronio. Hey, sometimes you run into a hot pitcher like yesterday. You drop that one. What do you take away from that game and try to move on from? Well, we, you know, we, we were flat. We were very flat. We, we just came out real flat, and, uh, you know, we were, we were hanging right in there, and then we let it get away. And, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're okay when it's 3 4 nothing. When it's 6 nothing, it's tough to come back in this league because he's got so many strong arms and everybody's back of everybody's pen. So, you know, we just came out flat. We swung the bat okay. We had a bunch of – I mean, Barnett hit a couple balls in the nose. Uh, Trenton Brooks had a couple balls in the nose. We were – you know, we swung okay. We just didn't get clutch hits and we used to. And, you know, we kicked it a couple times, so it didn't help. We just, just did not play a good baseball game. And, it's, you know, it's tough to do that every night and night in and night out. You just hope you come back tonight and do a better job. You mentioned Barnett's hot hitting. Is that the reason you slot him up to the two-hole tonight? Well, we've got some guys that are just, you know, a little dinged up, and we're just trying to move some things, things, things around a little bit. And uh, it just – it fits the lineup as far as how – we want to set the set it up with a, you don't want to bunch up too many lefties in the same spot so we kind of space them all out what have you seen from his at bats that led to his recent success well he's got a nice short stroke and he really takes good swings he, he usually gets himself in good hitters counts and when he gets the ball that you know a pitcher has to come in with a strike he usually hits it pretty hard tonight on the mound you got jake godfrey after his last start was up and down a little bit didn't get out of the third inning right. looking for for him tonight what do you want well more strikes obviously more strikes don't get behind the hitters it's really tough in this league in any league to pitch three and two all the time you know, you pitch ahead, you know, you get your first pitch strike, and now you got the, the, the whole uh, at-bat is in your hands as a pitcher if you get a first pitch strike. Now you can, you know, move. like the, In theory, you're trying to get a batter out in three pitches. So if you get first pitch strike, you're in pretty good shape. So that's Jake was not doing that. He, he did it in the first inning, and then next two innings, he just, you know, he just lost his location and, you know, got himself in counts where he didn't want to be in. Then he gets to the point where he's aiming the baseball, and if he aims it, they're gonna he's taking something off the pitch, which makes it more hittable. Or sometimes you aim it, and the ball kind of flies on you, so you end up walking a guy. So that was where that was where he was last time. And you know, he'll improve on that. He's a good pitcher. He knows what to do. Speaking of pitching, you got Zach Birdie coming back for you. Came in right into the game, pretty much off the plane and into the game. Right. What are you looking for from out of him this summer? Just what we got last summer. Just come in and give us some quality innings. Uh, we're going to try to set him up to give him a start if we can. Uh, but obviously his value is is as a late person. But, you know, we're going to try to accommodate. Louisville has said that they, there's a starting spot open. Zach has indicated he wants a shot at that. So we'll see what we can do to help him out. How similar or not similar is he to his older brother, Nick, when he was here in Chatham? Uh, not quite as big. You know, uh, Nick was a bigger framed person. But uh, similar mechanics. Um, similar work that needs to get done. Uh, they both are, were raw and they're getting better. There's no question Zach's smoother now than he was last year. And Nick took that same jump the same time at the same age when he was with us. And, you know, we hope that Zach can do exactly what Nick did and get a, be a big high draft pick and get himself moving up in pro baseball. Now we're going to ask you to put on your weatherman's hat here. A little foggy right now at the time of taping. What's the radar look like at the moment? Uh, radar looks okay, but there is a, a bunch of thunderstorms south of Nantucket and Martha's Vineyard. If they move in, we could be in trouble, but they could also stay to our south, southeast. Uh, there is fog in the area, and, you know, you, you, no one, at least I've never met anyone that can truly predict the fog. Uh, you, you mean, unless you are a weatherman with absolute, you know, instruments that can tell you wind direction, uh, temperature, water temperature, uh, tide, you throw all that stuff in, you might say, oh, yeah, there'll be fog tonight in Chatham, but I don't have that capability. Uh, I can tell you there's fog here now. I'm looking over the Little League field right now. It's getting a little hazy over there. Uh, it was a huge bank just came through left field, and it's it's a it's an unusual fog. It's actually blowing in from right field, blowing across to left field. We usually have it going the other way. So, you know, I I, I just who knows? You know, as the storm front moves closer, sometimes that will push the fog out. But then that means it might rain. So if the fog stays, the rain we might not get the rain, but if the fog leaves, we may get some rain. That that I know is pretty consistent, but. Again, I can't tell you. I don't have all. I'd love to have all the instruments at my disposal. Maybe we'll get some committee on that. We'll, we'll find a way to get you the funds that well, you want. You can talk to some of these fishermen. They'll tell you for sure because they have all those instruments on board. They know, and they'll know how long it's going to last and when it might switch. And because it, 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 there's so many variables that are involved: it's water temperature, air temperature, speed of the wind. Um, 
air temperature, dew point, all that crap, which, you know, I, I dabble with, but I don't know enough about, but I can I can fake it every once in a while. There's some people who think I can predict it, but I can't. Uh, although Matty Hyde, the scout for the Yankees, was my assistant coach one summer, and there was one game where I successfully predicted four different weather changes, and Matt was in awe. So the legend grew from that point. <laughs> What's it like fishing in the fog? Is it better or worse? Oh, you don't want to fish in the fog. Not around Chatham. No, 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 no. No, and I hear fog. I get, you know, I take I take the summer catch home or I don't go out. Uh, someday maybe I'll get a radar uh, radar on board where it makes it a lot easier. But, again, too many variables with the shoals that are out there uh, and then the knuckleheads that are out there who think they can, you know, you know, they're, it's amateur day when there's a fog. They ride around and they're, you know, twin 300s thinking it's fun to just cruise around they don't realize there's other people out there so now i'm not a fog person at all there's been one time we got stuck out there a little bit and we were able to i had i had put waypoints in of the old markers on the old Southway coming in and uh i was able to chug along and could see you know you knew they were close and the, my gps is about a five foot i have about a five foot uh, accuracy so i knew i was close to them and just as we got maybe halfway into the, the old Southway, the fog lifted and we were able to go home. But we also had a boat tagging along with us that said they had radar, so we kind of like chugged in together, but uh, didn't like that at all. The thought was we might have had to lash onto a buoy for the night, which would have like been really not good. <laughs> so, yeah, the fog lifted in time as we got closer to shore. But, uh, yeah, that wasn't fun, and I don't want to do that again. <laughs> Fog's not good on the water, and fog is not good at baseball, but baseball is still fun. That's it for the Manager Show with John Schiffner. Thanks for coming on. Sure thing, Tom. That's it for us down here. Johnny, take it away.